bars on the front of my Indian Springfield Dark Horse. I didn't get the Indian branded ones, I got the TCMT branded ones. They are the mustache bars, they already have like the plastic uh, foot guards on top of them, which are extra if you buy the Indian ones. Slight differences in that the Indian one is in two pieces, the TCMT one is in one piece, so it's a little bit different installation process than what you would see on the Indian bar. So we'll walk through that today. There's a couple different options. I'm going to try to do it without having the bike on a stand at all, which entails loosening up some other lines to, to get the bars on. So let me uh, show you what I got. So here's the box that they came in, or that they are in, actually, right now. So let's take a look at what's inside. Got a little ball here that I think feels like it's bolts. I'm going to set that aside for now. Pretty sure it's bolts. And then here's the bars. These are different from the Indian ones, you'll see. The Indian ones come in two separate pieces. Uh, they kind of overlap right here in the middle. This um, is all one solid piece, which is going to make it really nice and solid um, when it's on the bike. I think it's probably a good design. Um, so I think when I put these on, I want to be really careful about scratching. I've got, I've got some uh, some plastic like that, but not bubble wrap. I'm going to put back over it while I put these on. But yeah, these look really good. Here's the middle. As you can see, this is going to go against the frame at the top. There's two bolt holes. It will go against this way towards the motorcycle and then these bolt on towards the bottom so let's uh let's get on with getting them on the motorcycle all right so this step is going to be needed whether you get the indian brand ones or the uh tcmt ones like i've got here there's two bolts on the bottom uh that hold the floorboard on and your brake pedal and everything here so we need to remove those and should be an eight millimeter Allen is you want to make sure that you have this supported so I'm gonna put a box down there So we don't put strain on uh, our brake line. There is a brake line connection right here. This is just connecting it to the frame. So we use a five millimeter um, Allen to pull that away and see if that gives me enough room to pull this gently forward and slide the highway bar in it. So here's the connector we're looking at. Uh, it's a five millimeter Allen. If we can loosen that up. The other thing I've done is I've covered my fender here. Uh, I got these, they're uh, covers for fenders when you work on a, a car, but they should work, or they, actually they do work quite nicely. That should give me, maybe. The, the bottom ends have to kind of swoop back to the frame and you'll see an indentation up here uh, this is the top so this part the flat part is going to be against the frame so I think I have 
enough room with just that brake cable or brake line pulled away a little bit. Again, you don't want to move it too much because it's not a flexible brake line. So I'm going to try to stick this in here. I've got cardboard on the ground so I don't scratch the bars up. I'm trying to be really careful not to scratch the tank up. I'm trying to weave this through here. Get on the right side um, where that needs to be. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this part here up against these two bolts. If I can get those two bolts at least started, it'll hold it up, and then I can try to get everything else in place. So that is what I'm going to attempt. I left the plastic on here just because I don't want to scratch it to hell. I had to get around these bolts here on this floorboard, which was, you know, kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I had to get this bolt here in before I could reinsert or reattach the floorboard. Uh, what that means is there's a really low tolerance here. So um, to add to the fun is these bars. So here's the good, the bad, and the ugly about them. Um, they're a whole lot cheaper than the Indian bars. They look the same. They look actually really good. This is the first time I'm actually pulling the plastic away. Um, they come with the little rubber grips already which are like the Indian branded ones are like 80 bucks or 90 bucks something stupid uh, so they look good they look solid which is also part of the problem too they don't line up perfectly um, and by that I mean these bolts here line up great um, these bolts down here line up great when you have these bolts attached these bolts don't line up great so what I had to do is I had to kind of get these top ones in and then while I was holding up the floorboard with my knee, I was pushing against this with one arm as much as I could because you've you got to flex it a little bit and this a pretty solid piece of steel. So I had to push like mad to get the bolt hole to line up down here and reattach it and then I could get this solid enough to put the floorboard back on. That was a pain in the ass. Um, some choice words were used which um, I guess mentally helps a little bit but it, it doesn't do good for viewership all the time. Uh, so if you're going to get these uh, I still recommend them because, yeah, I'm looking at them, they look really good. Um, I'm impressed with the quality. Hopefully I won't ever use them or need them. But the, uh, the alignment is, uh, it's a two-person job, and I'm only you know, one person here right now. I didn't uh, have the foresight to call any friends to come over and help, so... That's where we're at. Um, once you get that done, the last the last piece I've got to do yet is reattach this screw here. Hopefully, I'm pointing the camera in the right direction uh, for that brake line. Uh, but yeah, that was the trick: taking the brake line, pulling it all, you know, enough, giving it enough play. To, to kind of push the bar in there. I was able to do it without a stand. Uh, might have been easier with a stand, but it is definitely possible. The hardest part you're gonna have, like I said, is aligning these bolts. So I will finish up with pulling this off. See, they look really nice. 
I'll reattach that bolt off camera. You don't need to see that. And then uh, I'll torque these down. I'll leave the torque specs in the video description. Or maybe I'll, you know, put them on here a little bit uh, as I'm finishing up the video. But yeah, I, I recommend them. They look great. It's just uh, have a buddy to help. Don't try to do it by yourself because it's a pain in the butt.